said by you know sir nelson mandela who was a knowing personality education is the most powerful weapon one can use to change the world and today we are also about to conduct a session which would make sure to provide the very essence of this well said quote by mr mandela a very good afternoon to one and all present here today on behalf of the homework app team and myself i would like to extend a warm welcome to our esteemed guest speaker for the day mr anil mukija who is going to take us to the topic of self awareness johari window the secret lies in human psychology along with the practical application of increasing classroom effectiveness and to explain the relationship you know of the human mind okay with another so is an extraordinary personality who has been laureled in his field of work and has numerous years of competitive experience we welcome you once again sir and request you to start with the webinar thank you thank you harsha and uh, good afternoon everybody harsha i am audible Com yes yes sir complete okay okay so uh, uh, welcome everybody in this session uh, on sunday you are sparing time from your uh, uh, holiday uh but i think you will be benefited by this the topic is about yourself only it is about one self only so uh, everybody is aware of this topic self awareness and johari window sometimes when we hear big names and technical names or the people who have uh, been working in the field of education and uh, uh, human growth uh we get confused that what is there in that so can you hear but, me but uh sometimes the things are very simple also when we uh, see Mr. other Anna, uh, harsha here can you hear me hello sir yes ma'am yes yes i'm sorry sir to disturb but uh, sir you have to uh, untick the annotation option so that you know your content is is, is purely visible and nobody is able to disturb that Just untick the annotation. Annotate on the shared content option. Yeah, I, I untick it. It is okay, done. Okay, all right, all. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so uh, uh, Johari window, of course, uh, it is a very important uh, tool, uh, which is widely used by the industry in education as well as in the corporate sector for the self awareness. Now, my question is, why self awareness? why we have to everybody knows about himself or herself even then we talk about self awareness it means uh, we are missing something or uh, we do not know uh, much about ourselves so how we can discover ourselves that is what johari window helps to know because uh, knowing oneself is different then discovering oneself because we don't know what we have what qualities do we have in ourselves what caliber do we have what is our potential that we don't know so self awareness in any field if you are working or you are at home is necessary is must so uh, there are some points some features which i would like to share with you when we discover ourselves when we know about ourselves what we can do what changes we can make in our life that is the the role johari window plays uh, in knowing as well as why self awareness first point for better results if we know our potential if a child knows his potential in the class टीचर उसको बार बार ये बोलता है कि ऐसा कर सकते हो तुम वैसा कर सकते हो तो वो कब ऐसा कर सकता है जब टीचर उसको ऑब्जर्व करता है सो वेन टीचर ऑब्जर्व अ चाइल्ड एंड ही नोज और शी नोज द पोटेंशियल ऑफ दैट चाइल्ड और वेन वी टॉक अबाउट आवर सेल्फ यस वेन वी नो वेन वी आर अवेयर ऑफ आवर पोटेंशियल वेन वी आर अवेयर ऑफ आवर एनर्जी when we are aware of our knowledge capabilities the results would be better second point better decision makers self awareness is required means if we are making any mistake then this knowledge helps us so johari window helps a person to discover his or her potential in all the fields 
and to make him a, a more more important person a more potential person which leads to a right decision making sometimes we get confused what to do and what not to do so in that way means self awareness is required what we are going to do and what we are going to do not to do and negatives and positives of everything we calculate before going on before going to take any decision so it they, it makes self awareness makes us a better decision maker then for better understanding comprehending the things in different angle everybody has its interpret uh, different interpretation so to guess a thing to make a right decision to understand the thing in a correct manner that is what self awareness helps us to do it frees us from our assumptions and biases we have some uh, uh, feeling sometimes we have some jealousy for uh, others sometimes we are biased because of the caste creed color or rich or poor whatever whatever it is so self awareness when we are aware that everybody is equal everybody has feelings everybody has emotions everybody knows what to do and what not to do everybody has a self respect so these assumptions and biases are cleared by self awareness we, we we treat everybody equally we don't make any biases because of any reasons so that is why self awareness is required then when we are aware when we can take right decisions then our self confidence also increases because we know our potential when we know our potential we are more confident we are confident of taking any decision we are confident of producing good result we are pro uh, confident of doing anything so that is what uh, self awareness helps us to do then ability to regulate our emotions sometimes we uh, we become short tempered sometimes we become emotional and we cannot control ourselves in front of a group or in front of others or friends or anywhere in the society so this self awareness helps us to control our emotions because it makes a human being a good personality it 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 is helpful in overall development of a person whether it is a child or a male or a female or a working or a non working woman or men then when all these things come it decreases stress because we are able to handle the things very nicely in a controlled manner in a sequential manner and it makes us happy so why self awareness we we come to know when to react and how to react what to speak and what not to speak at what place so that is self that is why self awareness is required in my previous slide i was asking why self awareness so these all are the points which for which self awareness is required so i hope uh, johari window i would like i would go to explain now next what how johari window helps us uh, to make us a self aware person or a better person a better personality so and why it was required why johari window was required why it is used widely of course we we we, we know now why self awareness is required but how johari window helps that uh, will uh, go next so johari window everybody uh, must have heard about it uh, but how is this invented or discovered uh, there were two psychologists joseph luft and harry ingham they were partners they were friends they were partners they were working uh, 
in University of California, Los Angeles. So it was developed by 1950 by 1955 by them. They were American psychologists and the purpose was to assess group dynamics. Group dynamics means when a group of people works together anywhere, whether it is a corporate place or in, a, in an office or in a school or anywhere. So wherever some people are working together for a common cause, and if they are failing, if they are not able to get the good results, so this Johari window uh, uh, is named uh, uh, in the name of Joseph Luft and Harry, Joe and Harry, Johari. So it is called Johari window. So it was developed in 1955 and the reason or the purpose was to assess group dynamics means how a group is working or if the group is not getting good result, then where something is missing. So that is uh, how it came into uh, existence. Now, use and benefits of Johari window. Now, this model is widely used, as I said earlier, to assess group dynamics, to, to know about each and every member of the group. What is the potential? What is the caliber of a person in the group? How he can uh, contribute to the group? Or what is a group missing? So this was the purpose of using this Johari window in a in corporate sector, in education sector, or wherever the people were working in the group. Now, this model was widely used for self-awareness, the one reason. Then this self-awareness leads to personal development, individual's development, as I told earlier, to take a better result, to become a confident person. Then after personal development, group development, as it was uh, developed to assess group dynamics for a group. So in the same way, now the group development was the another purpose this uh, Johari window was used for. Then understanding relationships. When we are working in a group, of course, the relationships matter. It is very important if the relations are not good among the group members, so they cannot uh, work for a common cause and they cannot perform better in a better manner and they cannot bring good results. So all these together, they are the reason for the success of any corporate or any, uh, any organization where some people are working together. So uh, Johari window was used uh, and is used right now and it will be used in future because when I will explain further to you, you will see this is required, this is must because sometimes we miss many things. We take the things granted. We are not serious. We don't check why the results are not coming up. We blame one another. Uh, so this is uh, how Johari window would help when every person of the uh, group is aware that what he or she can do or what potential or the leader knows about, the, about every person of the group. Then it is the uh, requirement, it is the responsibility of the group leader that he ensures uh, uh, every uh, person's development in that group. It is not about the group only, it is about individuals also. So then when individual is uh, being taken care of, then that group development is uh, sure and the relations are good, then uh, the results are good. So that is why Johari window uh, came into existence and it was used, it is used widely and it is very important to know. Now how self-awareness, as I told earlier also that why self-awareness is required. Now how Johari window helps for self-awareness? 
Now, Johari window model, uh, uh, I would explain you uh, what it says. Now, Johari window has, uh, uh, is a very good picture in front of you. It has four quadrants. Now, see on the side, you see known to self, not known to self. On the left side, you see uh, known to others and not known to others. Known to self, there are some points, there are some qualities, there are some features which we know, which everybody knows about himself or herself. This part, then there are some points and some features which we do not know about ourselves. You, you would be surprised, right? कि हम अपने बारे में क्या नहीं जानते what we do not know about ourselves अपने बारे में तो हर कोई सब कुछ जानता होगा but even then there are some things which we do not know and we we do not know until there is a situation there is a condition to know that so what is that condition and when we come to know about that uh, we will we will discuss further now, there are some points which are known to others, which are known to self as well as known to others. Yes, when we are uh, in the society, when we are in the group, whatever we do, whatever behave we, uh, 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 way we behave with the people, know about us. Just wait, just wait, some noise is there. Uh, sorry. Yes. So uh, there are some points which are known to self and known to others also because the way we behave in the group, people come to know about us that he is a very short tempered person, he's a very cool person. He is a very helpful person. He is a very charming personality. So we know about ourselves and people know about us. So that is the first part of this uh, uh, picture, the arena. So this is the first thing. Second thing, known to self, not known to self, known to others. Means we do not know about ourselves. This is in red color, you see but known to others. See, sometimes we, we, uh, uh, we don't uh, judge ourselves. We don't observe ourselves, but people observe us. They keep, on, uh, they keep an eye on us, what we are doing. So that is called the blind spot. Means for us, we are blind. For ourselves, we are blind. We don't know. But others, they know, they observe and they point out. But they don't point out in front of us. They point out it in uh, behind us. They gossip, they talk. So not known to self, but known to others. Then third area is green area. What I am saying, facet it is called. This is known to self. We know. But known, not known to others. Uh, we have to understand this in detail. Uh, it will take time. Very slowly, we'll, uh, and, uh, I will explain to you uh, again and again. So first part I was discussing, which was, which is in uh, uh, sky blue color, known to self and not known to others. What we see, people observe this and people know about us. Then. Not known to self, but known to others in red color. Blind spot, it is called. Means we we take a uh, we take it granted for ourselves, or we do not mind minute things about ourselves. But people observe. So this is called blind spot. Third one is not known to self and not known to others. We know about ourselves. Some hidden things. Some things which we do not want to share with anybody, but, and they are not known to others. This is green area, third area. Fourth area is not known to self, which is in 
sky blue uh, brinjal bengani color mein to uh, violet color this is unknown not known to self and not known to others neither we know nor others know so this is the fourth area these these are the four quadrants johari uh, window uh, tells us about this is why this is called window because they are like window panes therefore it is called johari window hai na they are like window panes a, pane, a window has four panes four glasses those four glasses they, they are equal in size right now the arena blind spot facet and unknown now i will uh, simplify this picture for you now no known to self and known to others this is called open self open quadrant exposed information about you that both you and others know huh? i know that i am short tempered people know that i am short tempered because i behave like that i know that i am beautiful or handsome people know that she is beautiful or he is handsome people know that i am qualified i know that i am qualified so these are this is called the open self now second one is unknown to self but known to others this is called blind self information about you that you do not know but others do know things which we neglect or ignore about ourselves but others they observe they point out later that you behaved like this you said this like in sleep you snore ha na we don't know ki we are snoring but others know we are snoring ha na uh, in sleep some some people keep on speaking but we don't know others know about that so some things this is called blind self blind for us but known to others third one is hidden self as i told facet information about you that you know but others don't know others don't know because we do not share because we we hide it we keep it as a secret right? we don't want to share whether it is any secret about ourselves or any 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 weak point of ourselves or any strength of ourselves so that is called hidden self this is the third quadrant or third pane of the window and the last one is unknown self unknown self not known to us not known to others nobody knows about it neither you nor others information about you that neither you nor others know now this pink area this unknown self is very important this plays a very important role this we have to discover because this is the pain this is the quadrant which would help us to grow when we tell a child when we tell a parent we observe something about a child in the class we tell the parents that your child is very uh, good in this child did not know parents did not know but we observed somebody else observed now there is a situation for that the things which which are not known to us and which are not known to others for that some situation has to be there some conditions has to be there which will help to bring that area open because that is unknown self so i think now johari window is clear to you now this open self and unknown self these are the two places which would help you to grow the blind self is the area which makes a person weak because we don't know where we are going wrong what we or we are behaving in a bad way or we are doing wrong something we don't know because it is unknown to self but others are observing 
this area has to be decreased for the growth of a person which area blind cell and how this area we can be decreased blind self can be decreased kaise isko kam karenge this is very important this blind self is to be decreased when we are working in a group and also for the growth of an individual for the self awareness here the self awareness is important and that self awareness will come when we will get the feedback from others because this is known to others others know about this we don't know unknown to self so when others will give feedback to us and we will pay attention to that feedback then this area will decrease means what we do not know about us whether it was good or bad whatever it was this has to be decreased so when open self will increase rest of the three quadrants will decrease their size will decrease and that ensures the growth of a person to make it more simplified next picture you can see johri window model known by self and second quadrant is unknown by self you see there is an arrow mark ask na how how we can reduce this area feedback solicitation you can see this feedback is required we ask sometimes jab hum kuch acha sa stage pe karke aate hain है ना हम स्टेज पे परफॉर्मेंस दिए और वी वी प्लेड द रोल ऑफ एन एंकर सो वी वांटेड कि दूसरे लोग हमें बताएं हाउ डिड वी परफॉर्म सो दैट फीडबैक सॉलिसिटेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड व्हाई टू रिड्यूस दिस ब्लाइंड एरिया यू कैन सी दिस रेड मार्क वी हैव टू रिड्यूस दिस यू हैव टू शॉर्टन दिस विंडो पेन इसका साइज कम करना पड़ेगा जो नॉन बाय सेल्फ है उसका साइज बढ़ाना पड़ेगा एंड दिस इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल दिस इज आल्सो सेल्फ अवेयरनेस यू विल कम टू नो व्हाट वी डू नॉट नो अबाउट अस जो हमें अपने आप के बारे में नहीं मालूम है वो हमें जानना है एंड हाउ दैट others will give feedback to us that feedback part is important sharing and caring so sharing is very important if we have to uh, ensure the growth of ourselves as well as my group members therefore sometimes uh, uh, some group discussions are there some group meetings are there open meetings open discussions are there we exchange the thoughts so this is the process how johari window, window would help or help for, uh, uh, an individual for his uh, growth or her growth then when we come to this hidden area third window pane this is self disclosure or exposure known by self but unknown to others we have to share when you go to a psychologist you share what you know and what others did not know he would ask you counselor when in a school a, a child is called for counseling what we discuss with him or her which he or she could not share with anybody but he or she knows about himself or herself that is how this area would be reduced this hidden area should be reduced we should not have to keep many secrets whether it may be emotional things whether it may be some other accidents or incidents in our life which we do not discuss but they impact they have an impact on our mind they have an impact on our personality which stops us to behave in a normal manner 
Sometimes we say he is behaving abnormally. He is behaving abnormally because he is scared or she is scared of something. Or he is or she is uh, 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 not open up to uh, in the society. So in that way, if this area is reduced by self-disclosure, exposure, we have to open up. We have to involve others with us in our life. Until and unless we involve, we'll not be able to explore ourselves. To explore ourselves, we have to share. We have to disclose many things. We have to disclose our hidden area, huh? hidden area of our life. This is very important. And the last one is unknown area. You see the pressure coming off from all sides. Self-discovery, chair discovery, others' observation. So this unknown area is to be reduced. You see that left corner. This small one, fourth number pain. This pain has to be shortened. Is khidki ko chota karna padega. Or wo kaise hoga? Shared discovery, when this hidden area reduces. Then self-discovery, when we come to know about ourselves more and more and more. Unknown area will decrease. Then others' observation, when we get feedback. We are getting feedback. So we are knowing about ourselves. People are telling us about me. Ki tum aise ho, tum aise ho. Aur mujhe, I have to correct myself. I have to behave properly. I have to change my personality. So that is how uh, sharing would help. Uh, disclosing. We come to know when we people tell about us. What we do not know about us, people tell about us. So we come to know about ourselves. We start correcting ourselves. We start observing ourselves, what others were telling to us. We become more aware. We become more perfect. We become more good. So this area, you see, the after the use of Johri window, you see these red line. Third number is decreased. Second number is decreased. Fourth number is decreased. And the first number is the big one, the open area, the free area. So this is how the Johari window helps for the growth of an individual. In this way, the whole group, the whole group is assessed. Where the weak points are there and how those weak points can be reduced. Here we have to ask, get the feedback. Here we have to tell, we have to disclose, we have to open up. So this is how Johari window plays an important role for self-awareness as well as for individual's growth. When individual is growing, then group is growing because the hidden area has reduced. What we were hiding from others, we have disclosed. We, now we don't have to scare for anything. So that is how this beautiful uh, window helps us to achieve our goal in the life. That is very important. I would explain with some more points. Here are the ways that you and your team members can expand your arena quadrants. Um, in the previous picture, I was explaining that we have to expand the number one open area and reduce the other quadrants, other window panes, other two, three, and four numbers, hidden area, unknown area. Now, feedback solicitation, we, can, we have to ask. We have to share and we have to care. We have to ask. By asking for feedback from others and accepting them earnestly, just not asking, working on that also. Accept him. If other is telling that you are doing, you were wrong, means yes, I was wrong because it was observed. And they have pointed out when you asked. You can expand your arena horizontally, thus shrinking your blind spot. 
ब्लाइंड स्पॉट मीन्स विच यू डू नॉट नो अबाउट योर सेल्फ जो आपको आपके बारे में नहीं पता था वो आपको दूसरे ने बताया विच वुड हेल्प यू टू बिंग बिकम अ बेटर पर्सनैलिटी दिस प्रमोट सेल्फ अवेयरनेस एंड हेल्प यू आइडेंटिफाई द एरियाज वेयर यू कैन ग्रो एंड improve yourself then second part the hidden area self disclosure and exposure we have to ex we have to tell we have to share with others let others get to know you through frequent healthy communications and self disclosure you see uh, in uh, many courses by spiritual uh, people they they make a group where you discuss many things or where group discussion is there you have to share your uh, plus points you have to share your minus points this expands your arena vertically horizontally towards second number vertically towards third number breaking down your facet this area hidden self this is called facet you can see this green area so this will be reduced how it will be reduced when we you will share your personality with others your your personal things with others as with feedback solicitation your organization must create a culture where you feel safe sharing with your team mates that is the responsibility of the team leader or the team that uh, things should be kept secret it should not be misused or other way then shared discovery when both you and your group it is given take policy if you know about others you tell to others when both you and your group members learn something new about yourself this greatly affects your arena by expanding it diagonally all way reducing the area of all other quadrants including the unknown see unknown part is very important one i would like to explain this area once again this unknown area see sometimes we don't know that we are a good painter but we participated in a we are given a, uh, we are forced to participate in any competition or any activity in the class and we made a good drawing aapne dekha hoga na the movie tare zameen par it was amir khan who discovered that child that he can draw beautiful pictures so that is that was the unknown area uh, for that child but it was due to circumstances due to situation he painted something he expressed his feelings in that those in those paintings and somebody else observed and he he was good so this unknown area is to be con converted into open area or free area where people know about us people will tell us when 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 would this happen two things feedback then self disclosure uh, uh, you must have heard about some accidents or incidents that a child who could not uh, walk or who could not do this he did surprisingly shockingly to others he, uh, which was against his uh, situation yes this unknown area unknown to self and no unknown to others situations are to be uh, there only when situations come uh, this area is uh, uh, come into existence means this is another thing now after i uh, johari window or uh, uh i i am able to explain to you uh, how we can uh, increase uh, uh open self and how we can reduce hidden self and blind self and unknown self and how we can become a more aware person about our personality and why this was required in a team now uh, you know that uh, why it was required but why it was required for a team when team works when team works the results should be good 
it is expected but when team works how t team trust and transmit team means when we trust each other we communicate transmission we exchange our thoughts that is t e for empathy means we care for others we care for every member of our group and we we are earnest to do anything for the group for my group members a a for arranged assist absorbed we are arranged organized a team is always organized systematic hierarchy is there everything is there then we assist each other we help each other absorb dedicated a team is dedicated for a task and m for multifarious diverse people from different groups different caste people of different caliber are the members of the team and together this team can do wonders and for that johari window helps a lot to make every individual of the team important this is what johari window is used for to make a team strong full of strength commitment and that is why johari window came into existence for to assess a group dynamics as i told in my first slide for assess to assess group dynamics by this exercise by using johari window we come to know about the potential and weakness of each and every member of the group and a good team leader uses that uh, potential that information in a positive manner now having said all this about johari window simple and to growth for the growth of an individual for the self awareness which is very very important i have my own philosophy some some philosophy uh, taken my guru mantra you can say abcd of life a awareness awareness about self is very important awareness about my surroundings is very important awareness about my field is very important if i am not aware suppose you are a teacher and you are not aware about the changes taking place in the education system you will not survive you will not be able to survive because there is a big competition new generation is coming with new technology new information so we have to update ourselves we have to aware of the changes we have to aware of the use of new technology we have to aware what changes or what a new generation is expecting for from us what my organization expects from me this is a b belongingness for your success for your stability for your performance belongingness is must you must belong to a place to your family you must think that this is your own you are not here temporarily you are here for a big time a long time and when this sense of belongingness is there naturally your commitment would be there you would be more committed and when commitment is there of course your results would be good your output would be good and whatever you do in your life whatever wherever in at home in family in friends in the school in any group you have to work with devotion we have, whatever we have to do whether it is a small task or a big task important or unimportant we have to do it devotedly whether you are in this teaching profession by choice or by chance 
you have to devote yourself. You have to devote hundred percent. Then only you will be a successful person in your life. So I think uh, I did my job and uh, I'm able to explain to you uh, about Johari window and why self-awareness is important in our life or for the growth of, uh, growth of a group or a school or any organization. So this is all about Johari window, self-awareness and my guru, my ABCD of life, you can say, this is also self-awareness. The A stands for awareness. So this is what ABCD of life and how we can become a better person when we are aware about ourselves, our weaknesses, our strength, our minus points, plus points. So this is what Harsha. Uh, now, if any questions are there in your question bank, then you can ask me. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, sir, questions I'll find, but I think somewhere it is lost between all the comments. Wonderful session. Very informative session. Oh, my God. All I right. don't know, means, sir. I think it was one-sided. I, I kept on speaking. <laughs> Yes, sir, definitely. So, uh, yes, educators, if there are any questions, please do post in the chat box that, sir, and I can take it up. Any any questions in your mind, anything, please, please do post in the chat box. Okay, I think there are no questions. So it's very informative, brushing up, helpful, wonderful, excellent. Uh, there were some hands were raised uh, during this uh, I think, in the uh, chat box. Yes, sir, sir. Hands were raised, okay, but I think uh, nobody is asking anything or nobody is. Uh, uh, this is very uh, means uh, strange because uh, it is not very easy to uh, uh, know about this uh, uh, jewelry window. Questions yes. should be there. Uh, Okay, sir, there's, there's a question, sir. Uh, yeah. so, sir. How to make the teachers... Oh, one minute. Yeah, Lata Ji is asking how to make the teachers to work dedicated. See, that is what I, 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 I said in the ABCD of the life, belongingness. When a sense of belongingness is there, when uh, the organization is caring for them, when they are sure that, yes, we belong to these organizations. We are not temporarily working here for one year or two, or whatever the situation may be. So we have to, uh, two things we have to do. One, we have to create uh, among them a sense of belongingness. And second, we have to aware themselves. Yes, they are capable of doing something good if they are missing something. So we have to uh, uh, do two exercise with them one about self-awareness, one to uh, understand that yes, this school belongs to you or we belong to you. Okay, and sir, there's another question. Uh, how can we know our strengths and weaknesses? Pardon? How can we know our strengths and weaknesses? And how- That is what, know... that is what uh, this blind self is all about. Uh, second pain means we have to share and care. We have to discuss. We have to give the feedback. We have to take the feedback. Then only we will come to know about our weakness. See, uh, uh, when uh, a principal or a vice principal or a HOD or a coordinator tells uh, uh, to the teacher that you are not uh, on time, you are not performing your task nicely, you have not done this. So we have to give the feedback and we have to take the feedback also. It is vice versa. So then only we will be able to improve uh, uh, this weakness part or the strength part. There should be good observation by others. Yes. When we take the feedback by the teachers, ki aap ek dusre ke baare mein batayenge. Sabhi teachers ek dusre ke baare mein bata sakte hain. If not openly, they can be uh, in a written paper. What I do in my school, uh, uh, we uh, uh, distribute this pamphlets or the feed up feedback forms to the teachers, they tell about every uh, teachers, what they observe about others. Then taking it collectively, we, we come, we reach to some conclusion that yes, these are the more points and these are the less points. And then we discuss with the teachers individually. 
that's definitely answered very well so thank you for the enlightening response we have another question does the unknown mean once a discovery is made the space keeps on reducing pardon once again does the unknown self means okay just a minute sir i lost the question yes does the unknown self means once the discovery is made the space keeps on reducing yes of course definitely when you come to know about yourself or something which you did not know earlier this space is going to reduce definitely others observation self discovery and shared discovery you see this area in this picture it is very clearly mentioned uh, when when somebody observes about you something and then he or she gives you some feedback so what you did not know about yourself you come to know and this area is being reduced so and you explain to somebody else you tell somebody else that uh, i i am I, i have fear of this i have fear i am scared of this and i am not capable of doing this then they give you some feedback like i am giving a feedback how you can improve the working of your teachers this is unknown area and this unknown area will reduce when you will get information from others when you will get feedback from others and when you will be observed by others so all the three descriptions are there and definitely this area is going to be reduced and this is to be reduced for better performance definitely sir so but uh, there is another question by tanya ji so everyone doesn't take positive feedback so in that case what to do and some teachers are very very dedicated also in schools but their potential is not recognized so what should we do in these cases uh that is the role of the leader here if every individual or the person who is performing well is not given recognition definitely uh, that 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 is not a good uh, uh, way of working in a group it is the role of the re, uh, uh, leader that he he recognizes everybody according to their potential and uh, recognize it or and acknowledge it so this is the role of the leader here first uh the first part of the question that yes sometimes uh, people give negative feedback now it is up to you you have to uh, make two columns in the feedback positive points and negative points then you will get positive as well as the negative points of a person definitely sir very well answered really uh sir we have another question by subrata ji how to control anger and frustration when repeated explanation and efforts fail to get any answer feedback or output from a student especially when there is no one at home to follow up his studies yeah see this is uh, uh, where the spiritual world enters means we have to uh, do pranayam yoga meditation and to to any exercise which calms down ourselves right? where we can control ourselves right? otherwise uh, see frustration is there in the life every uh, step in the life we are not happy somebody is behaving like this somebody is not doing like this somebody is not following the rules so we are frustrated always we have to control ourselves because we have to ignore many things in life because we cannot correct everybody but we can correct ourselves so that is what uh, i would say that yes uh, in schools uh, meditation or happy classrooms you, you you have seen that in delhi they have uh, introduced this happiness classrooms so why this happiness uh, is introduced in the school uh, are the students or the teachers not happy no because uh, things are not uh, right sometimes and we have to change the mood of the person so we have to take it in a different way definitely so definitely uh, so is it okay if we take one more question yeah it's okay okay all right so all right so so uh, varsha ji is saying that actually i don't like to mingle with everyone only selective people i get mingled then how will it be helpful for me for removing blind me window blind area yeah yeah see blind area is uh, the thing where we require the feedback it is unknown to us but known to others means others are observing you minutely you are under cctv huh so you are being observed by others what you were doing sometimes we 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 do not take it seriously so in that way if we have to reduce the blind area 
we have to take the feedback and we have to take that feedback positively we don't have to think ki wo to galat hi bolega hamesha no wo galat bol raha hai lekin ultimate decision to aapko hi lena you have to take the final call whether uh, the thing is told by others are okay or not you have to then observe yourself again if somebody has pointed out something you have to observe that you have to uh, follow that two three times that i am doing like this or not so this blind area is to be reduced of course uh, we cannot uh, reduce it completely but we have to increase the open area when open area is increased self awareness is there growth is there 100% growth is there definitely sir i hope that uh, clears all the doubts of the educators today like the questions were answered and this one a very peculiar question actually <laughs> miss subhadra is asking can you please tell me how to treat how to deal with the mental instability of teenagers especially pardon once again mental instability of teenagers okay yeah. see uh, as you know that teenagers they are distracted nowadays so that distraction has to be reduced they have to be more focused towards something from where they are being distracted now what is their goal this is to be checked so distraction has to be reduced focus has to be increased and that focus will be increased only when you will give feedback to them and when you will reduce their hidden area because teenagers they do not share many things easily so their hidden area is to be reduced and you have to give feedback to them so when blind area is going down when hidden area is going down facet then of course open area is coming their distraction will reduce and their attention will increase so we have to dis, uh, reduce distraction we have to increase attention means attention in two ways first is focus second is keeping an eye on them so this attention to be there definitely sir so it's already 2:30 and we'll close the question bank as of now i think sir answered a lot of questions in a lot of thank questions. you very much everybody i hope i i did justice to the topic given to me and uh, this was very uh, means new to me johori window though self awareness i was doing but johori window technically i i was scared ki i would be able to do justice or not but i thought uh, think that it is it is done well and uh, uh, people are uh, not uh, means uh, good about it yes yes definitely sir also just a few pointers for everyone sir session is recorded and we'll upload the same on youtube by tonight you all can access the same i'll email everyone the link please fill the feedback link and yes sir we also have the feedback for your session uh, for you know from 500 participants so yes i'll send you that also in some so the sunday they they made uh, their sunday good and my sunday also good <laughs> <laughs> definitely sir definitely okay so sir before we allow you to take your leave again we have a very short you know word of thanks prepared for you and yes after reading that uh, definitely we all can get back to you know our own shows right um so will another very well said quote by sir apj abdul kalam was all birds find shelter during the rain but as i always say it would eagle avoids the rain by flying above the clouds and as spoken by sir it's the people who dare to be different dare to fly high and take the initiative every time through our webinar series we do want educators to be the first ones to try out new things experiment understand and get the whole some experience we really hope that some day somewhere the knowledge our team ought to provide today will be useful for all of you tomorrow on behalf of the homework app team and all the educators here today i extend my warm gratitude to mr anil mukija who took out the necessary time of his busy schedule and grace us with this immense knowledge once again you know to make this session really wonderful a warm regards to you sir thank you so much for being here thank you everybody thank Thank you, Arsha. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.